Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome to another RebelScum.com video review. Today we are reviewing the Star Wars Black Series, The Clone Wars, number eight, Ara Singh. Our first Black Series Ara Singh figure. This one's really awesome. This is a figure I've been looking forward to. This wave has been a group of bangers. We have Ara Singh, which obviously. We have Cosca Reeves, which has been the most difficult figure to find. Tech from the Bad Batch. We have Zero from the Mandal Mandalorian. And we have uh, General Lando, which is the first Lando in Black Series history to finally have a cloth goods cape. I mean, I guess third time's the charm, Hasbro. It was bound to happen eventually, I guess. Um, so there you go. Anyway, about Ara Singh, this figure is really cool. This character looks incredible. They did a really good job, I think, capturing her likeness. And there she is on the side. You got a nice side art profile right here of Ara Singh. You got some words and things there on the back. And that's pretty much it for the box. So Ara Singh is an awesome bounty hunter, assassin character, uh, primarily in the Clone Wars era. We first see her in the background during the Bunta Eve race at... Star Wars The Phantom Menace. And then she kind of took on a life of her own in the comics where they kind of delved into her character more. She's another one of those former Jedi turned bad. And she really did turn bad. So much so that in Legends, she hunted Jedi and kept their lightsabers as trophies, much like Grievous does. Her strap is removable from her blaster rifle. Just plugs onto a couple of places there. There you go. Oh, it came off. Come on. There we go. It looks really cool. Got the nice little wooden stock here. It's really, really, really long. She's got her two blaster pistols. They do go in their holsters. So she's got, she can put them in her holsters. She does have the antenna right there at the top of her head. Then there's the big, big ponytail. She's got the, the cargo vest. Then she's got this, this cool stuff on her back. They did a good job. Fully articulated head is on a ball joint. You got those full shoulder joints, those elbow joints, wrists. Uh, I like how they actually did uniquely mold her hands because she has those crazy long fingers. Upper waist. Hips, upper thigh, double jointed knees, ankles, and that's pretty much it for articulation. Because it's it has a strap, you can put her blaster rifle over her shoulder if you like. You can take it off if it makes it easier for you to pose her while holding it, and you can do some pretty cool poses with that. I don't think the antenna is removable. It, like I've tried pulling on it, and it's it's pretty well in there. Um, it looks like it could be a separate piece, but maybe it is all molded as one piece, and then just the rest of her head got painted, and just the antenna didn't. Which, I mean, it's a metal antenna; it probably shouldn't be painted. And then she looks pretty sweet when you put both of her blaster pistols in her hands. What's really cool is the way they molded her fingers; they're kind of staggered, and there are two. Um, like holes on the blaster pistols. Both of her fingers do fit in the holes really well, so you don't really have issues with her holding her blasters like you do with some of the clone troopers when they did some of the officers and they, they did the dual pistols, but they didn't really change any hand molds so they could hold them both properly. She does not have that problem. So really good job on the molding there, Hasbro. And I think she looks pretty sweet. And then for comparison, here she is next to the greatest bounty hunter of all time, Cad Bane. There she is next to him. And here she is next to, apparently, friend at times, Hondo Anaka. Now, I know that's not Clone Wars Hondo, but that's the only Black Series Hondo we have right now. And I still think they look pretty good oh, side by side together. So there you go. Now all we need is little Boba from the Clone Wars to go alongside this Aura Singh and Bosk. I think that would be really cool. I mean, we, we could also get Kestis, but, or Castus, 
but eh, he's not that exciting. He's not as exciting as RSC. But yeah, a, a pretty cool set, pretty awesome figure. Looks really good with the other bounty hunters. An awesome assassin. If you want to have her face off against your Ahsoka, go for it. She looks pretty spectacular. They did a good job on this figure, and I can't wait to see what the next Clone Wars figure is going to be. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this review here on RebelScum.com. Make sure you check out all of our other content as well. Make sure you like and subscribe to us on social media. And let us know in the comments what you think about this figure and what other Bounty Hunter characters you might be looking forward to next. That's it for today, so we'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the Force be with all of you, you Rebel Scum. So, uh... Just gonna. Yep, she dead.